Hey guys, how are we all doing? It's Cam to you again, and today we're checking out the Sterling Music Man AL40, the Albert Lee signature. Let's go! As some of you guys saw from the previous video, I got two guitars from the good people at Strings and Things, the UK distributor for Music Man. This is the AO40, the Albert Lee signature from Sterling, made in Indonesia. It's a really reasonable guitar for the money, and I have to say, in terms of playing experience, marvellous. Right up there with the Axis, it's fantastic. Uh, just to take you through the specs very quickly before we get into some pros and cons, we have die-cast tuners, a hard maple neck, a Jatoba fingerboard, 22 narrow frets, they're not stainless steel. A thumb wheel truss rod adjustment down here, if, should, should you need to adjust your neck, you can. We have a mahogany body, which is really light and resonant, it's fantastic. Sterling's own humbuckers here, with a five-way selector switch, a volume and a tone, and a fulcrum trim. That's it, dead simple setup. Uh, it's got some really diverse sounds in it. Just take you through the pickup positions. Position one, you get the bridge humbucker. Position two, you get the inner coils. Position three, you get both humbuckers together. In the fourth position, you get the outer coils. And in the fifth position, you get the neck humbucker on its own. Generally very, very nice. But like I said in the previous video with these fulcrum trims, the tremolo bars are a little fiddly. They're a bit of a pain to get in. But generally, they work just fine. Stays in tune very well. Compared to the Axis I reviewed in the last video, this guitar I do prefer. It uh, somehow has a much nicer feel. And as I say, these guitars are made in Indonesia on a budget, and generally the guitars that come out of Indonesia are really good now. And I have to say with this guitar, it, uh, it feels a lot, in terms of playing experience, a lot more expensive than it is. These guitars retail for £350, really, really like it generally. And overall, sounds really, really great. The pickups themselves are not as high output as the Axis, and keep in mind, it's an Albert Lee signature, you wouldn't expect them to be. So, before we get into the playing, our 4 one, I hadn't really listened to Albert Lee until I made this video. And as a lot of you guys will find out in a second, I don't play in the style of Albert Lee at all. You're going to be getting me today. And I generally will do my best I can to cover as much ground as I can. But generally, I think you'll take my word for it. It's a pretty nice sounding guitar for the money. Let's check it out. Thanks so much for watching this review, you guys. I hope you've liked what you've seen. Please make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to know what you think. See you soon.